If you ask question after question after question, it becomes too much like an interview and can get super awkward super fast. You need to make statements. And you can memorize the statements in advance. You should have your answers down for questions that you know you're gonna get. Things like, Let's talk about five ways to improve your communication skills. Communication is huge for sales and for life. If you can't get your point across to people in an effective way, you're not gonna be able to do anything. Simple as that. If you stumble too much or you talk about irrelevant things, you're gonna fail. No one's gonna listen to you and that's that. I'm sorry. But luckily, there is a way to improve your communication skills and that's what I wanna talk about in this video. Let's talk about five things you can do to improve your communication skills and become better. Number one is ask questions. When you're meeting with new people, ask them about themselves, almost like a podcast interview. And if you need an example of this, I'll talk about how to do this later and how to have questions to ask them, et cetera, later. But if you listen to any competent podcast interview, you can start mimicking that. For real conversation type of podcasts, I actually really like Joe Rogan because it's a real conversation. I like. Nerdist podcast, or even You Made It Weird. These are not business podcasts. These are podcasts where people are having real conversations with each other back and forth, because that's what you wanna mimic. You wanna become like a real person. You don't wanna be a business robot. And I'll talk about the subtleties of this in a second. So ask questions, almost like it's an interview, and get the person you're talking to to tell you stuff about them. But there's one important thing about this. This video is brought to you by MailRush.io. If you need to send cold emails or if your current provider isn't allowing you to send cold emails, you must get an account with MailRush.io. With MailRush.io, you can send bulk emailing campaigns on autopilot while avoiding blacklisting problems. Improve your sending reputation with a dedicated IP. And if you sign up with the offer below, they'll include a free customized IP warm-up schedule with your dedicated IP account. And you can get 30% off the first month by using the promo code cold email. In addition to that, you can also open a free trial account with a sending credit of 1000 emails. Check it out, mailrush.io, promo code cold email. And that is number two, is it's not just asking questions, you want to insert comments. When you ask them a question and they answer, don't just move on to the next question. That's super annoying. If you're like, hey, where are you from? And then they say Cincinnati. And then you say, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Now it becomes like an interview and it's super annoying. Instead, you wanna say something personal about yourself, either related to what they talked about or of a similar vein, just you wanna say something. So you would ask that same question, where are you from? And they say Cincinnati. And you would say, oh, well, it gets super cold up there, huh? Some kind of comment. That's all I know. I know nothing about Cincinnati, just that maybe it's cold. So I will say whatever comment comes to mind, but it's gotta be a comment. It can't just be another question. You have to add something to the conversation Bat the ball back. That sounds too sportsy for me. Hit the ball back. Is this tennis? We're going back and forth. Hit the ball back. Say something personal about yourself that they can riff on too. Because now when I've brought up the cold in Cincinnati, now they can be like, yeah, it gets cold out there. Pretty frigid, but now it's warm. So now you're talking about the weather, which is kind of annoying and you can transition out of that. But now you are at least talking, you're communicating. If you ask question after question after question, it becomes too much like an interview and can get super awkward super fast. You need to make statements. And you can memorize the statements in advance. You should have your answers down for questions that you know you're gonna get. Things like, who are you? What's your background? What are you trying to get out of this event? You know these questions are coming, so it's up to you to have good answers for those questions. And you can optimize the answers to make sure that they're interesting. If you're worried about being boring, and you don't have a solid answer to who are you or what's your background, then you have something to improve. Get these answers down because you're hearing the same questions over and over again. Get the answers down so that you become more interesting. The third thing you can do to improve your communication is to read more. Reading gives you insights. It gives you stuff to talk about. Maybe if I read a book that related to Cincinnati, I would have something to talk about. Now that I'm thinking about it, doesn't Cincinnati have like factories or something? Like I know nothing. But if I had read a book about Cincinnati, maybe I'd have something to talk about there. I like reading biographies. They give you a lot of ways in to people. So for instance, I recommend a bunch of books, a couple of these books behind me, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger biography. You read that, now you know something about bodybuilding and acting and real estate and running for governor and California and Eastern Europe. Like you know all of this stuff now that you wouldn't get by just reading a random business book. 
The biography provides so much context and so much to talk about that nothing else in terms of book can really come close, not even fiction. So you're reading more. The next thing you wanna do is force yourself out there. I used to host a meetup in New York. We ended up with over 3000 members and it was the tech community. It was called Geeks in Suits. And I learned the most about communication and how to improve my skills by hosting a meetup. I would do these meetups once a month and I would get out there and force myself to learn everyone's name and to shake everyone's hand and make sure they were having a good time because I was the host. But what's cool is you can do this even if you're not the host. Go to a meetup and make it your goal to make sure everyone's having a good time. Shake their hands, introduce yourself, talk to everyone. The host will appreciate the help because it's a lot of work. And you will get way more practice by throwing yourself into the fire and talking to these people and having to run your answers over and over again. I can't tell you how many times I've answered the question, what do you do? And I have my answer down. I know exactly what I'm doing, you know? Now I say I'm a YouTuber and I make business tutorial videos and that gets people talking. But I used to say I was a business consultant and when I was selling mobile apps, I would say, oh, I sell mobile apps and we do applications for people like Tyson and Power Rangers. And I would mention, I would name drop the companies that I was working for because my goal was to get sales. So I would present myself in a way that made me attractive to potential customers. Hey, we're giving away the email 10K course to one of our lucky subscribers for free. To win, all you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have some crazy cold email and business content on here. Subscribe to the mailing list, which you can do by going to email10k.com slash checklist and getting our free cold email optimization checklist. Like this video and share this video and fill out the attached Google form. Your chances multiply every single time you share one of our videos and the winner is gonna be announced at the end of this month. So go complete those steps for a chance to win our $1,000 course email 10K. You can get that for free. Speaking of sales, the next tip is get a sales job. The other thing that worked massively well for improving my communication skills is the cold calling job that I had when I first moved to New York City. I would cold call local businesses and the best thing for an awkward person is that cold calling comes with a script to follow. You know exactly what words you're supposed to be saying and then it's up to you to make them sound natural. So for an awkward person, you now don't need to worry about your words at all. You're just thinking about your tone. It's very simple, very easy. And this will help you level up crazy fast. So the five ways to improve your communication skills are ask questions, insert comments, read more, force yourself out there and get a sales job. Want more content like this? Subscribe to the channel. We do videos three times a week all about sales, marketing, entrepreneurship, and how to improve your life. Leave a comment down below. Are there any other tips you'd recommend or are you struggling with communication? Are there any other questions you have after watching this video? Let's get a conversation going. Like this video to encourage this type of content. Check out our course, Email 10K, if you wanna book meetings with billion dollar brands and grow your company exponentially. And I'll talk to you soon. I'm Alex Berman, thanks for watching.